Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Simple Scrapper Live. My name is Jennifer Wilson, and I am your guide here at Simple Scrapper. And I am so excited today to be continuing our 2018 planning party. This is a month long adventure into getting ready for a fun, creative 2018. And today I'll be giving you a few sneak peeks about what I'm planning for you guys right here at Simple Scrapper. And then next week and the week after that, we'll be really diving in to your hobby. I'm kind of flipping things up a little bit, starting first with how I am planning to support you here in our community, giving you some options for that. And then I will give you a step-by-step -step approach that you can use here or anywhere at all to guide your journey into the new year so it can be fun and fulfilling and productive. And of course, keeping it all simple. So I have a short presentation. So here in a minute, I will switch the screen to the PowerPoint slides and I will share a few things with you. But first, I would love to invite all of those who are watching um, here to pop into the chat box and say where you're from and how long you've been around the Simple Scrapper community, whether you're a member or not, how long you've been hanging out here with your fellow scrapbookers. We're here on Crowdcast, and I am so thrilled to be joining you inside of this fun, warm and cozy classroom. We use this extensively throughout our membership as well, because it's this special place where you can see me, I get to talk, I get to teach, I can even bring people on the video, but then I also get to, you guys get to chat with each other in the meantime, that makes it extra fun. I also will take this opportunity to point out that there is an ask a question button. This is where you can um, open up a question box and submit anything for me to answer live here on today's presentation. All right. Oh, we got folks from all over. We have Nancy from Boulder. We have Karen from outside Boston, Lindsay from Minnesota, Natalie from Ontario, Canada. We've got April from Houston, Texas. Um, Karen's been here for a few years now. Natalie's been a member for three years. Lindsay is brand new. Kelly has been here for several years. Judy is from New Mexico and she's been here for a couple of years. I love that we have folks from brand new to very seasoned pros within our community and it makes it, I love the diversity of what we have at Simple Scrapper, both from ages, from cultural backgrounds, from you know types of interest in scrapbooking. We have digital scrapbookers and paper scrapbookers and hybrid scrapbookers and people who do photo books, everything in between. And that makes it fun. And I love that we can just all learn from each other. So let me turn on the screen share here. All right. And then I'm gonna, there we go. It automatically minimized me. So we are talking about our 2018 preview. If you've been around here at all before, you know I've done this for the past couple of years where I give you a sneak peek about what I am planning for the new year, kind of some of the themes I have in mind and some of the ways that we are switching things up. Uh, we do a lot of, we, I, how do I say this? I really, really value consistency and repetition and all that you can learn from circling back to the same questions and the same concepts so that you are growing in strength in those concepts. It's the same thing that teachers do in the classroom with their students. But I also know that it's important to keep things fresh and interesting. So I'm always switching things out and trying things new so that you can have an even more fulfilling experience when you're interacting with us here at Simple Scrapper. And then it's my help that you go and take these away to your offline scrapbooking communities, to other places that you're involved in our hobby online, and but still come back to Simple Scrapper as your special, truly unique online home. I, I really believe we're the only place that supports you and in your individualized personal growth and your uh, allowing you to follow your curiosities and interests in scrapbooking and helping you to continue to move forward uh, as a creative person and someone who truly values getting your memories documented. There's lots of other fabulous places online that will teach you about design and techniques and which products are brand new and all of that. 
but you can bring that all here and we'll help you uh, process it out, figure out what works best for you so that you can have a fun and fulfilling hobby. And that was very long winded. So let's just jump in here. So the first thing I want to do before we go forward is I want to take a brief step back. And I think this is a little ends up being a little small, particularly if you're on a smaller screen, but I'll, I'll tell you what it says. The timeline, it starts back in 2008. And that means that 2018 is going to be our 10 year anniversary of Simple Scrapper. I just, it's really, really hard to believe. And we were founded in the fall of 2018. It was just this seed in my brain. The domain name was purchased in November and the very first blog post was published in December, right at the end of the year. And it started as an opportunity for me to share what I was learning about scrapbooking in a modern way. And at the time, I really thought that digital scrapbooking was going to be the way that people were going to use to simplify this hobby. But it turned out it was just one of the ways that you can use to make it fit into your life and also fill you up at the same time. To have a hobby that's fun and satisfying, but that's also totally practical, especially if you have a busy schedule. And so those first couple years were, you know, we were trying to find our way and I was writing a lot of blog posts. I blogged daily for about the first six or seven years. And in 2010 is when I launched my first class and it was called Light Your Fire. And I don't know if anybody here remembers that class at all. This was my very, very first thing I ever sold. And that to me, that was the pivot point of where we said, we're not just about scrapbooking and how to's, we're really this place that's gonna support you in your journey to help you feel motivated and focused and forward moving and always super, super clear on what's important to you. And so Light Your Fire kind of was that social turning point. A full year later in 2011 is when we invited our very first members in the door. At the very beginning, it was called Simple Pages, Simple Projects, because it was built around this idea that if we just give you just a little bit of nudges, a little bit of content every month, it will help you focus in and get something done and keep moving forward. And today that has grown into this beautiful membership community. But in 2018, what I really want to focus on is this idea of the journey. A journey within a season, within a year, your journey as a scrapbooker, the journeys within our lives. And I'm on the next couple slides, I will share a little bit about where we're going with that. But to me, it's this recommitment to helping you find your own path, but also holding your hand and being your companion on that journey because we can't do it alone. And really it's not, it's not just me and, so, and our Simple Scrapper team, it's our whole community supporting you on your individual journey as we all share this larger journey together. All right, so I found this quote today. I was trying to find something that was just, that, that fit the perspective that I have for the membership in 2018. And um, Chandra Kohar, she's on the Forbes list of most powerful women in the world. She's number five on that list. Um, she is president and CEO of a bank in India. And she says, aim for the sky, but move slowly, enjoying every step along the way. It's all those little steps that make the journey complete. And I really like this one because she emphasized both enjoying the journey and the value we have on completeness because we all want to get to that finish line. And I think above all the things that I have heard from those in our Simple Scrapper community is that Simple Scrapper, whether you're a paid member or not, helps you get more done. And you know, we're not all about productivity. It's not about making things for the sake of making things. It's about continuing to feel like we're moving forward, especially when there's so many obstacles in life that prevent us from spending time on ourselves, that prevent us from getting started with our hobby, from digging back in, and even all the parts from within the industry that sometimes make us feel like we're not good enough or we're not doing enough. And I really want to emphasize that you can enjoy it and you can get things done. And it's about that combination of the two that really gives you that well-rounded, complete picture. Because I think those who just want you to enjoy the journey along the way are a little bit short-sighted, um, particularly for motivated, smart, eager, 
thoughtful women like yourselves who also love to check the boxes off at the end of the day. All right. So the first thing, and this is what I'm, one of the things I'm most excited about, and I'm just going to give you a little sliver of it today, is we're going to have this thing called a roadmap. And it is a seasonal creative roadmap. This will be something that's available to everyone, and it will be a customizable path. So we're going to give you a direction. Every single season, you'll have a new roadmap and a new series of mile markers, if you will, a place to go. And so you will have guidance for your journey, but you are completely free to customize it to your needs. There's going to be a lot of opportunities for taking individual mile markers in your own direction. And there'll be ways that you can say, okay, well, I'm just not going to do this part. And I'm going to really do more of this part. So it'll be both guided and customizable. And that's really what we're all about here. So that's something to look forward to on the 28th of this month. I'll share just a little bit more next week as, as part of my recipe for a playful and productive 2018. Uh, and then on the 28th is when I'll be walking you through our first ever winter roadmap. And I think it's going to be really, really special. It'll have all of the things that we do here at Simple Scrapper that are available to the public, as well as some opportunities to go deeper inside of the membership. So it'll be a tool that we're all using together. And yeah, I'm just so excited about this. So with that, um, I am planning on changing my approach to email a little bit. There'll still be, you know, shorter emails when we are getting ready for our, our member retreat to give you more information about that. There'll still be other emails, but I'm planning to kind of go back to a regular newsletter that shares a little bit of personal anecdotes from what's going on in my life, both my memory making and my memory keeping, and then more of a digest format of everything else we have going on at Simple Scrapper. And in a little bit, I'll share about more why I'm going that direction. But part of it is that when I did a survey recently of what types of formats you guys enjoy best, email ranked number one. And that has surprised our entire team um, because we we really felt that people didn't like email as much as they used to. But it was actually number one, not only in number of people who, who consume that regularly, but number one in the most preferred format for consuming scrapbooking content. And that was super surprising. Um, there were some others in there that weren't as surprising, but email definitely was. And I'm looking forward to kind of finding new ways to connect with you that feel both more personal from my end, but personal on your end and help you tease apart what's working well for you so you can do more of that. So we're testing out this one inside of our membership. The image you see here is a, a little sneak peek from our member newsletter. And then next month we're planning on rolling that out to the entire community. We have a few more tweaks to do to get there. All right, the next big focus is on YouTube. And you saw a little bit of this last month. We hosted a giveaway and I sent some emails about that um, I knew that you guys were really interested in recorded videos. We've been doing the Simple Scrapper Lives since the beginning of the year. And I noticed that most of you are watching the replay. And that's awesome. I understand that not everyone can be here at the exact same time in the middle of a work day. And so I want to change things up a little bit. I'm planning to do a lot of live video as well. There'll be some that are scheduled and some that are more impromptu. Um, but there'll be a lot more recorded videos that I can, you know, have extra visuals in. So it's not just my face talking. We'll have, you know, sometimes it'll be teaching content like this and sometimes it'll be demonstrations. So a lot of different types of videos. And that's something that I'm really planning on investing a lot of energy in for next year. And it will also include free kind of full classes. So instead of putting everything on a page, I will be releasing some classes directly on YouTube. So they're always accessible from absolutely anywhere. They're completely free to access with no opt-in or login or anything. And you can comment with your fellow participants right there on YouTube. So I think that's gonna be pretty fun, um, a new change, but it will also allow me to dig into some of the topics that I haven't been able to cover a lot recently. And I have a long list of all the videos I wanna make. And so it's just, it's the limitation is my own time in getting there, but I am 
really excited to dig into this. All right. So of course we then have our book club. This has become something that I have, uh, it's one of my favorite, favorite things that I can do. And, you know, it doesn't make me really any money. You know, I get a little bit of affiliate commission if you buy the book on Amazon, but it's not really part of my business. It's just part of what I love to do here in the community because I genuinely enjoy it. I love digging into someone else's wisdom and seeing how I can apply that not only to my life, but to my creative hobby and how I can grow as a scrapbooker. And I love that we've got this, this vibrant community of book club members and I hope to uh, grow that more next year as we invite more people into that community. Um, the book club is completely free to the public and if you missed last week's video, the first part of our planning party, you can just click that 2018 planning party link to go find the video of our book club announcement for next year where I re reveal all 12 books plus our special study group selection. So that's super fun and I really appreciate all the feedback I got to select some what I think are some really good books for next year. And I think that's also what makes Simple Scrapper um, different. You know, we have one of the, we have the only nonfiction book club exclusively for scrapbookers. And we, we do things a little bit differently around here. We think a lot, we talk a lot, we really figure out why we make the choices that we do and how we can make even better choices going forward so that we feel accomplished and focused and motivated and empowered. Um, and, you know, sometimes it gets a little woo-woo and really touchy-feely, and sometimes we are so super practical and analytical and give a little tough love saying you just need to get it done. It's a, lot, a big mix of all those different things. All right. Now, of course, we do have our membership. So the things that I've mentioned so far, all the things we do for free to welcome everyone into our community and to help you get a taste of what we do inside of the business part of the membership. Because really this is, this is, at the end of the day, this is a business, this is what I do for a living. And our membership is the one offer we have on the table. And I said here, it's your optional but awesome next step. And you'll see that on the 2018 planning party page as well. So if you're not yet a member, this is really the next step. If you wanna go deeper, if you're feeling really, if, you, if this material resonates with you, if you, you know, you like watching me on video and I'm, I'm speaking to you, you feel like that I get you and I hope you do, um, you might wanna take that next step with us. So some of the things we have in the membership include a private community. Right now this is on Facebook because that's where people tend to hang out. And I love seeing members post questions and share things with the group and it's just become this, um, kind of self nurturing place where you can go and, but it's a smaller, warm and cozy environment so that you know it's safe to share anything at all from, you know, hey, here's the mess in my room. Can you guys figure out how I can rearrange this? Here's the page that I just made, but I, something's not quite working. What can I do to fix the design so that it feels more harmonious? Or, you know, I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this album. I have these two kids and I don't want to make too much work for myself. How can I do albums that are really going to meet both of their needs? So we love solving problems and we see that a lot in our community. Our seasonal virtual retreats, these are the refresh retreats, are probably the biggest thing that we do every single season. Um, we come together for one week online to refocus and press the reset button on our hobbies. We get that kind of New Year's energy all year long. And I think that's why our members love it so much is because you get to start fresh every three months. You don't just have to do it in January. You get to say, this is what's important to me. This is what's I'm, what I'm gonna work on. And these are the goals and this is how I'm gonna get there. And we do that through a hand selected set of really doable activities. And our members absolutely love that. I just give you these little bite sized pieces of homework and then we come back together to discuss and share and build upon that and figure out how we can apply that knowledge to what's next in our hobby so that we can feel prepared for that next three months of scrapbooking. And then of course we have our digital magazine and new downloads every single month. Uh, it's called, our magazine is called Spark. And when you become a member, you can see the full back issue. We are, we just released um, issue number 47 for November, so that means we're coming at the end of 
four years of the magazine, which is just amazing to think about. So think about we've been around for 10 years. We've been doing Spark for four years. Um, so much amazing content in there. I have exclusive articles, and of course there's beautiful layouts from our creative team all throughout the years using the brand new downloads. We've got tons of sketches and storytelling prompts, and it's just that one place where you know you can you know, grab your cup of tea and snuggle up once a month to get re-energized for your hobby. And then you can go back to it later when you're ready to scrapbook and you can have a starting point right at your fingertips. So we also, this is kind of where it's getting into some new stuff for next year. So I know our members here are excited about this. We're gonna be changing up how we're doing our member meetings. So for a long time, we've just had member chats and member meetings where we're doing a text-based chat room like we have here in Crowdcast. But next year, we're switching things up a little bit. We're doing three different things. First of all, we're gonna have a, at least one crop night a month. So we'll be here on Crowdcast. We'll be have some kind of guided activities. Some people will be able to jump on video with me. And it's just a fun time that you can set aside to create, whether that's digitally or in person, whatever it is you're working on. We're going to continue with our focus circle topical discussions. These are led by Kim, our teaching assistant. So every month we'll have one topic that we're gonna all circle around the campfire around and really dig into this one really, really specific topic. And then we're gonna have study group sessions. And I have a little bit more of this on the next slide, but we're gonna come together to kind of, it's like a long-term class is really what it is. And this year we're focusing on a particular book Next year, our study group might be a little bit different, but it's an opportunity once a month to come together around um, specific actions, not just discussion topics, but things that we're doing and trying differently in our hobby to figure out what works best. So I'm really thrilled to be focusing more on experiences because I know you guys don't necessarily need more information, more stuff to consume. You've got enough products. There's lots of other stuff out there on the internet. You need a place that's going to help you take action and that's really supportive of what's important to you right now. You don't need new project ideas. You've got tons of them. You just need to focus on that one and actually getting it done. And that's what we like to do here. Of course, we also have uh, classes inside of our library. We don't have a ton of classes, we, but we've got some ones that are very specific about different parts of your creative journey. We have Simple Scrapbooking School, which is basically designed for people who are new to Simple Scrapper. It introduces you to kind of the fundamentals of, of taking a really intentional, purposeful look at what works best for you and your hobby. We've got the finishing project, which helps, which helps you finish all those projects that you started but not finished, and be more of a finisher going forward. And we have Before Your Story, which is a way to take a bird's eye view to create an entire album about your birth to adulthood story in a way that is simple and doable and finishable. And then of course we have some little other classes and we're always adding more as well. But it's definitely, that's what makes us different. We're focused on sub that supportive environment for the projects that are important to you, not necessarily distracting you from what you've already set forth for yourself. And of course, as I mentioned before, we have hundreds and hundreds of sketches and storytelling prompts right in the membership at your fingertips that you can search for and use as your next starting point on your pages. So here's the, a little bit more on the study group. And we, if you were at last week's session, you've already heard about this. We're going to be digging into The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. This is something that kind of creative people at large have been, they've been celebrating this book for a long time now. As a, as a way to practice being creative. And it has a lot of different permutations of that. And I'm excited to follow along. We're gonna, it's supposed to be over a 12 week period, but we're gonna take it over 12 months. So it's a slow and steady um, exploration through this book. It's going to be kind of open to everyone. She calls it, the subtitle here is A Spiritual Path to Higher Creativity but we're gonna spin it so that it's inclusive of all kind of faith traditions and beliefs. So please don't feel excluded because you believe one thing or don't believe one thing. Um, and I think it's gonna be really, really fun. Um, I, I love taking another teacher's wisdom and being able to apply that to the things that we talk about 
And so that's going to be one of the funnest things we do in the membership next year. All right. So if you hadn't heard yet, you can see it on the planning party page. Uh, you can save $110 per year on your membership if you become an annual member before the end of this month. So just planting that seed in case you were interested. You do have through the end of the month. But if you're ready to get started with us, you might as well do it now so that you can join in for our festivities through the remainder of November. All right. I'm going to leave you guys with this quote, and then I'll see if there's any questions that we have today. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So Shirley M. writes, I just wanted to join in and thank you for providing so much inspiration, motivation, and a renewed sense of purpose. I had just been so unmotivated this past year. All I could think was I need to scrapbook, but the amount of projects I wanted to start or complete was so enormous. I never felt motivated enough to begin, but now I feel so empowered. I also want to say how much I felt a part of the wonderful com community you have created here. So thank you, Shirley. I don't know if you're on today, but I appreciate you saying that. We've got lots of things like this from our members uh, from this year and in years past. Um, I love knowing that I get to help, you know, even just one person every single week uh, get more out of her scrapbooking hobby because this is this hobby is important. It's not, you know, not that other crafts are not important. They're very personally fulfilling, but these are your memories. These are your stories. These are your kids and your parents and your cousins and your best friends. And these are the things that you're going to want to remember as you get older and pass down to future generations. And I know how much it, it weighs on me when I'm not feeling as accomplished in my hobby as I would like to. And I'm not enjoying it as much because I'm making it harder on myself than I need it to be. And that's what this community does for each other. And it also helps me. It helps me become a better scrapbooker as well because I get to be a part of this group and use it to um, stay on track myself. They're really good at keeping me on task. Just last night, um, you can barely see it over here, but I just reorganized this whole space because I realized that I tend to work to my left. I'm crafting over here because I don't have to move because I'm lazy. And But then all my scrapbooking stuff was over here. So I moved it. You know, I, I identified a problem and I figured out the solution that I need to put my projects to my left so that I can work on them and put other things over to the right. So I love that kind of ability to troubleshoot problems and help really lift each other up because that's what this, this hobby is all about. Um, I know that I never personally had kind of an in-person cropping community. Some of you guys do, but it's the next best thing to having that in-person community is to have one online that can be the place you turn to and really support one another as you are having fun and playing in this hobby. So whether you become a member or you take part in all of our free activities, I really hope to see more of you in our community next year. I'm going to take this opportunity to see if there's any questions. If you have any, please click the ask a question button. Um, what is a crop diet is the first question we have here from Betsy. So, you know, cropping is a term that many scrapbookers have used in the past to, you know, it came from taking a photo and cutting it down. That was called cropping. And events of groups of scrapbookers have been called crops for many, many years. And so a crop night is an online gathering right here in this Crowdcast classroom where you can chit chat with your friends, have some teaching and instruction and some guidance, but I'll also be creating right along with you. I'll show you what I'm working on. We can troubleshoot. Sometimes I ask for input. I have you guys tell me what to do. And it's just a really fun opportunity. But most importantly, it's just, it's a dedicated time on your calendar in which you know you've committed to that time for yourself to create and to invest in the hobby, invest that energy in the hobby that you've already invested so much money in. All right, thanks for your question, Betsy. Whew. We've got Lindsay here who's looking for a community. Um, Kim says she turns to sketches almost every time she starts a new page. Um, I will say one of the things that I'm really personally interested in and, and what I hope to bring more into the magazine next year is there's so many different formats in scrapbooking. And we, and we talk a lot about this in the Simple Scrapbooking School class. It's important to figure out what combination of formats you're going to use. 
you're gonna do digital, you're gonna do project life with traveler's notebooks, or you're gonna do a memory planner, or you're gonna do a 12 by 12 or a six by eight, so many options. So we like to help you kind of hone in on what's exciting you right now, what feels good, what's doable. And I also really want to help share more ideas of how those different formats can not only be kind of a fun twist, but can also help you get more done in a faster way. So I'll be looking to do some of that in our videos and in Spark Magazine next year. All right. So Christina asked, she says, I am stuck again. Where should I start in Simple Scrapper? So there's a couple different places here. So it depends on why you're stuck. If you are stuck with not feeling like your projects are focused, you're like torn between doing your project life or your layouts, you're just feeling really unfocused, I recommend going back to Simple Scrapbooking School. It's kind of like the fundamental 101 level class where you can get that sense of clarity. But if you kind of do have an idea of the projects that are important to you, kind of what your repertoire of scrapbooking looks like these days, but you can't kind of get that creative energy I recommend turning to an issue of Spark Magazine. Just pick one, one issue, put your blinders on, and then choose one piece of inspiration from that. Maybe this is the first thing that really catches your eye. It could be products in a layout, it could be the way that somebody arranged their journaling, it could be the sketch itself, it could be a storytelling prompt. Just look for that seed and then go create something. Don't finish the magazine, just look for the seed and go create something. And Focus until you get done. Even if you have to set a timer on your phone or your computer, sit down and focus. And I promise you that you will find the momentum to keep moving forward. Because I know there's so many instances where I'm feeling tired or cranky and I don't want to have to, you know, in order to pull everything out. But I know that if I sit down and focus and I get that timer going, and I give myself permission that if I'm not having fun, on a roll, feeling flow within 10 minutes, I can stop every single time I end up creating for 30, 40, 50 minutes, an hour or more. Because it, all it takes is that 10 minute, 15 minute focus to get started, to get the ball rolling. So I hope that's helpful to you um, in your stuckness. And I definitely um, want you to reach out inside of our member community if you want some more help with um, your stuckness because that's one of our pieces of expertise for sure. All right. Oh, April has a fantastic question. She says, is the November membership special just for new members? I'm planning to renew, so I'm wondering if renewing in November is the best way. So here's the details on that. Um, first simple question, the answer is no, it's not just for new members. The annual membership special uh, um, where you can save it's $130, that's $110 off the full price of membership. That is for new members, for current members, for returning members. We do have a very small selection of grandfathered members who so that wouldn't be you know, a lucrative opportunity, but for most members, switching to an annual, or we call it converting to an annual plan, is going to be the way that you can save money if you're enjoying our community and plan to stick around. So it's ab absolutely for anyone. All you need to do is sign up just like just with the form, and Nisha, our customer service specialist, will make sure that you can um, that all of your previous payments are canceled and that you are all set up. She gets notified of every new annual membership and makes sure everyone is you know just nice and tidy there. So yeah, renewing in November is the best way because the price of annual membership is going to go up after November. Um, and so it's not going to go back up to the 240. It will continue to be a discounted rate over full price of monthly membership, but it is going to go up. This will be the last time it will ever be available for $130 a year. And it's been at this price, I think, for the past three years. Um, and so this will be the last time you see that because there's just so much value, you know, the cost of everything these days, but you know, our resource library grows every single year. Um, and you know, just, you know, the cost of other things are going up as well. So this will be the last time it is that price. So you definitely, if you're thinking about it, it's time to lock in that right now because when you're a member at Simple Scrapper, no matter what type of pricing plan you're on, you are uh, locked into that rate. And I mean that in the sense that your, your rate is guaranteed never to increase. So even if we increase it for new members, your rate will never increase. We always grandfather everyone in at the lowest price they've paid. 
So that's something that we do because we feel it's important to honor your loyalty for being a member with us. All right. That is all the questions I have for today. I want to thank you guys so much. I appreciate all of our members who are here today who just heard a lot about the membership they already love so much. Um, but hopefully you guys are also excited about all the fun activities we're doing as a community this year. And I am honestly, I think the one I'm most excited about is this roadmap. It's something I've been thinking about for many months now, and it's kind of all coming together as this one thing we can keep coming back to. And if you've been around for a while, you know that we have our, I've had our seasonal planner. And so the roadmap is, think of it as the seasonal planner on steroids. It is the prettier, more functional, more practical, more um, all-inclusive seasonal planner. So not only is a place to uh, focus your ideas and what you're going to work on, but how you can follow along in the Simple Scrapper community as well. So super excited about that and more details next week and the week after as we continue the 2018 planning party. If you've not checked out the link below, click on the green 2018 planning party link where you can see everything that's coming up. You can get your annual membership if you're interested in that. And you can also even sign up for um, Facebook notifications of any of our live events or anything happening with the planning party. So. Thanks, guys, and I will see you here again next week. I will be coming to you from my parents' kitchen in Houston, Texas at that time, and I'm um, looking forward to doing some video for you on the road. All right, guys, take care.